the profile on the part. And right now, the finish isn't great. So this is a surface roughness gauge. And what we do is we use it to check the surface finish while the part's in the machine. So right now we're at about a 125 surface finish. We want to be below a 63. We'll go down to a 10 or a 16 just because we want it as perfect as possible. So right now I'm going to go talk to my dad and see what we can do to make the surface finish better. Part looks awesome. Yeah, it's good. So yeah, I agree. It's probably like a 125 right there. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and look at your speeds and fees, double check your chip load, your surface footage, and uh, let's just get it a little bit more perfect and we'll be good. Cool. All right? Yeah. So the chatter actually comes because the spindle rate is too high for the feed rate, mm -hmm. right? The spindle is spinning and it's actually bouncing the tool on the material. Yeah. I can just hold it right here and it's like I can feel that vibration. You know? So you actually create the pressure to push a little bit harder, mm -hmm. which that added pressure stops the vibration. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It actually yeah. gives you a better finish. So I think I think it's coming out really good. And right now it's just kissing and it. it's so good. Yeah. So it looks like you got a few more passes. So go ahead and uh, bring it in. Let me see it, but mm -hmm. I think you're gonna be good. Cool. All right? All right, cool. cool. Thanks. We wanna hold our parts to as perfect a service finish as possible because every time our customer opens the box and sees our parts, we want to wow them every single time. Hey, what's up, Sean? What's up? Hey, you got a minute? I got to yeah. get the titanium foot peg ready. So Chris brought me his first stop. Now that we have the part in here, we're going to use the profilometer. So the way the profilometer works is it drags a teeny tiny needle over the top of the part and it checks for deviations in its topography. In other words, this metal surface looks nice and shiny and flat, but in reality, it's got all these little peaks and valleys in it. So now that I've verified that our surface finish is beautiful, I'll just check a couple things with my CMM and a caliper and we'll call it good. Yo, Gilroy. Yo. All right, she looks good. I know you were concerned about the surface finish, and I'm pulling a 7.3. Man, that's good. Micro inches. That's what we so, like. Yeah, I like it. I say run them. Appreciate it.